Justin Dravix here. Right. And I, I and already just <laughs> worried about the <laughs> snow. I took him straight to the weekend. It's Tuesday. I've already got that S word. All right, I'm going to slow my roll, as you would say. I'm slowing down. Yes, it's not going to be the big one, but it could be the largest one of the season. But that's not saying much since we only have a tenth of an inch officially at the airport of snow so far this season. So some accumulation is possible. But again, uh, not an all snow snowstorm as uh, some warm air starts to working. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. We got to get through tonight. Kind of dreary, ugly outside right now. If you're stepping outdoors, need the rain jacket, the umbrella. Not a steady rain, but just a mist uh, slowing down traffic, low visibility, some fog. This is a live look at Center City. Tough to see the tops of the building. Temperature holding steady, 45 degrees. Light breeze out of the northeast at three miles per hour. And it's not a strong enough wind to help mix the air up and get rid of this fog. So check out the visibilities. Mile and a half in Philadelphia and Wilmington, less than a mile in Redding, two miles in Mount Pocono. So we're seeing improvements to the north and west. Clouds a little bit thinner across central Pennsylvania. That's headed our way overnight. So not a whole lot showing up on the radar. And just that light mizzle, drizzle and mist out there that's impacting uh, the evening commute. And then the clouds will start to break up right around midnight tonight. And temperatures once again. Again, tomorrow will be well above average. That's the last day of the warm spell. 45 right now at the airport surrounding suburbs. Not much change. Lower 40s to the north and west. Clouds break up. Here we go. 1 a.m. Wednesday morning. We start to see some clearing skies tomorrow morning. Your commute looks great. Just have the sunglasses out there for the sun glare. Afternoon, mostly sunny skies. Really pleasant day. That's going to be the best day to be outside over the next uh, week or so at least. Temperature wise tomorrow morning waking up. 30s in the surrounding suburbs to around 40 degrees for Center City. And then by the afternoon, look at that, well into the 50s for the inland locations, possibly mid 50s. So that puts us about 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Even the Poconos enjoying some mild temperatures for one more day. And then the change occurs on Thursday. Arctic cold front will push on through. Below average temperatures return. This high pressure system sets up shop right over the mid Atlantic and Northeast that locks in the cold air. Then we bring in the next storm system on Saturday. So as of now, it does look like snow develops early mid morning on Saturday, then changes to rain by the afternoon. Accumulations are possible. There's enough cold air at the surface, especially from the city on northward, and that could cause some travel problems out on the roads through uh, much of the day on Saturday. Overnight, clearing skies, 39 degrees for the low temperature. Tomorrow, nice afternoon. Enjoy it, 55 degrees with some sunshine. And there is that extended forecast. Gradual cool down on Thursday. Then Friday, it's cold, 38 degrees. Snow to rain on Saturday. And through the holiday weekend, it's next weekend or next week, we lock in that cold air. We struggle to get to near freezing for the afternoon temperatures. So, like I said earlier, no need to run to the grocery store and stock up okay. at this point. All right? <laughs> no need we'll to get through. change, <laughs> right. too, right? Yeah. Still we'll keep early it on. in the week. Gosh, it's it only Tuesday. Tuesday. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm already on, the, on Saturday. I'm already on Saturday. I, I'm so stay focused on the days. Yes, I, I'm focused. Exactly I'm in the moment. What's going on here? Right. Thanks, Just priorities. <laughs>